The Betfred Bowl is next up. Uh, this is almost a rerun of last week's Gold Cup, isn't it? A big field again for this. Uh, it's a furlong shorter this time and a sharper track at the top. We've got Bucko for Martin Liam, Crackle for Alex Cherry, Q card for David Hooley, Dawn of the Warrior, Joshua Sutherland, Highland Monsieur, David Robertson, Insatiable Forest for Craig Allen, Ozark Rival, Vinny Gerard, Rampant Lion, Alex Cherry, Time to Shine for Craig Allen, Twisted Road, Leon Van Rensburg, Belmore Stone for Graham Clutterbuck, Bridged Cape. And Cape of Pears, Darren Thompson, Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sutherland, Magic Spell, Greg Beckwith, Rock on Susie Q for Graham Clutterbuck and Stone of Legends for Leon Van Rensburg. So, called in and ready to go. And it's not really a repeat of the Gold Cup field because quite a few of these ran in the handicaps at, Liver at uh, Cheltenham as they get to the first of the 17. And there's a fallen already rampant lion who won one of those handicaps has crashed out at the first with Belmore Stone pulling for its head in the lead. That one was a casualty at Cheltenham early on, so he's already gone a little bit further than he did in the Gold Cup. Dawn of the Warrior is second, and Belmore Stone really attacked the second, and has opened up by five lengths to Crackle in second. The second of the Alex Cherry horses, his first one, Rampant Lion, has gone, and so is Holden Monsieur. I didn't notice that one going, so Holden Monsieur has gone as well for David Robertson. So two early casualties then, as they Come down to the fence, which will be the last in two circuits time. And Belmore Stone is in the lead. A good seven lengths clear. Of Dawn of the Warrior and Bucko. And then Rock on Susie Q and Crackled. With Ozark right after that one. And Dawn of the New Age and Stone of the Legends are quite wide on the track. Looking towards the back of the field. Twisted Road is just the back marker. But Belmore Stone is setting a strong pace leads by a good six lengths to Dawn of the Warrior on the outside of Bucko who was on the outside of Crackle tucked in behind him Rock on Susie Q and then Cape of Pears and a two length gap back to Insatiable Forest with Ozark Rival on that one's outside and Bridge Cape on his inside then comes Magic Spell with Dawn of the New Age Time to Shine and Stone of Legends and then finally Q Card and Twisted Road at the back and they complete this long run then to the fourth Belmore Stone's lead is down to no more than four now. Look, just giving that one a bit of a breather. Dawn of the Warrior has moved into a clear second. With Bucko third and Crackle fourth. Over the fifth they go. And all safely over that mistake at the back by Twisted Road. And that one doesn't look to be going well at all. And it's dropping away at the back. And I wonder if that one's injured itself somehow with one of those mistakes. But it's right out the back. And it's Belmore Stone who leads though by about four. To Dawn of the Warrior second, Cape of Pears is third, Bucko is fourth, then Crackle on the inside. Just behind that one, Magic Spell. As they get over that one, Crackle was the one that made a mistake. There's another one towards the back, looks like it's starting to drop off, or is that Twisted Road just poking its head into the shot? I think it might be Twisted Road just sticking on in there at the back. But Belmore Stone is clearing the lead as they come to the eighth. Drops it nicely, the rest of them get over it okay. They lead back up to six lengths now. Dawn of the Warrior second, Cape of Bears has moved into third. This twisted road getting a little bit closer again at the back, so maybe they've just been given a bit of a breather as they take the ninth. All safely over the ninth. With Belmore Stone. Clear in front, jumping much better today. Four at the first in the Gold Cup last week. Going okay at the moment. With Dawn of the Warrior second. This will be the last next time round, and Belmore Stone will be hoping to lead over it. Gets over it this time now. Moved into second is Magic Spell. Dawn of the Warrior on the inside is third. Then comes Stone of Legend and Cape Pears together. A little bit of a gap to Insatiable Forest and Bucko. And then Ozark Rival and Rock on Susie Q. With Bridge Cape and Dawn of the New Age next. Q card just being niggled along in time to shine. Twisted Road has now made up that deficit and has joined the rest of them as they head out on their final circuit with Belmore Stone. A clear leader. Well, three and a half to four lengths, but in the lead all the way that one. Dawn of the Warrior second. Magic Spell third. Stone of Legends going well on the outside in fourth. And Cape of Pears and Insatiable Forest rock on Susie Q. Crackled after that one. Twisted Road making its way through the pack now. Looked totally out of it a while ago. 
but is now creeping through the mid-division of the pack as they come to the 11th. And they all get over that one okay mistake by Q Card to see that one drop to the back. Belmore Stone's lead is no more than a length now. Dawn of the Warrior second, Stone of Legends third, then Magic Spell, then Cape of Pears, then Twisted Road mistake by Insatiable Forest. Crackles after that one. Bucko's losing his place. And Q Card trying to recall from that mistake has gone past. Time to shine and Dawn of the New Age. Over the 13th they go. And Belmore Stone leads by three quarters of a length to Dawn of the Warrior second. Then a gap of two lengths then. Back to Stone of Legends who's in third on the outside of Magic Spell. Cape of Pierce is next. Crackle still seems to be going well. Twisted Road is still getting ever closer. In towards the back time to shine is the back marker. And Bucko's dropped out the back as well. But Dawn of the Warrior is just in the lead then by about a neck. From Belmore Stone in second. Cape of Pierce is in third. Look at this cue card. He was right out of it making mistakes a minute ago. Now swinging around the outside coming through to challenge for lead over the third last and over the third last they go it's dawn of the warrior who's in front dawn of the warrior has gone three clear from q card has moved into second belmore stone crackled cape of pears insatiable for his twisted road he's still trying to run on coming down towards the second last and over it they go dawn of the warrior in front q card second twisted road bridge cape crackled belmore stone there's plenty of chances but they've got to get to dawn of the warrior dawn of the warrior still in the lead q card he's trying to get close there's only one to jump and then a very short run in it's Dawn of the Warrior in the lead, Dawn of the Warrior is still the best part of two lengths clear at the final finish, he skips over it, Dawn of the Warrior mistake by Twisted Road, it's Dawn of the Warrior who's got to hang on and not only just hang on but take this pretty comfortable up towards the line Dawn of the Warrior takes his stone and legend keep a bears, Twisted Road, Q card, crackle Belmore Stone all the way back to Dawn of the New Age who ended up last and I think we may have lost one in the straight as well but Dawn of the Warrior takes it for Joshua Sutherland, Stone of Legends for Leon Van Rinsburg second, Cape of Pears, Darren Thompson third, Twisted Road Runner, Strange Race in fourth for Leon Van Rinsburg, Q card for David Uli, just drops out at the end, was fifth, and just check down at the bottom, I had a feeling that I saw something had, had gone, no, no, just the two, just the two fallers then early on, Rampant Lion and Hannah Montier went at the second.